I got it right there. You see it? Nice. Oh my gosh, you got out. I got it. I got it. Shoot. No. no. Okay, okay, give me, give me some here. I got it. Yeah. Woo! We got an eel. Okay. All right, what's going on here? Let's go see my hair. Somebody needs to do something about this. I'm not very comfortable with this shadow. Oh, uh, they're good. You like that? Is it yummy? You hear that like... I know. Yum, 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 yum. What's up everyone? Tex, Axe, and Little Shadow here with the Adventure Agents. Today we are doing a 24-hour no food survival episode with an orphan baby goat that we found <laughs> right out here near the ocean on the island of Maui, Hawaii. We've been taking care yeah, of this little guy. Like of oh my Hawaii. gosh. Wow, he wouldn't take his milk, but he certainly would eat this avocado here. I ate breakfast at 9.30 and I can't eat anything else until 9.30 a.m. tomorrow except what I can catch out here using my spear or a fishing pole in the ocean. And if I can't catch any fish, at least we have somebody to eat here, right? I'm so disappointed in you. Some of you probably legit thought that I would eat this baby goat, my buddy Shadow. Why would you think I would do that? Yes, I might have squished a mongoose's head and ate it. Yes. We got it. All right, so there we go. We got a mongoose. Yes, I might catch chickens with sticky traps and eat them. There's a rooster, there's a rooster. It's stepping, it's on it, it's on it, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It can't move. It's stuck. It's stuck. Yes. <laughs> but I'm not evil. I wouldn't eat a baby goat. Yeah, you all know our motto here. Life's an adventure and love is the key. I won't eat you if you won't eat me. Ain't that right, little shadow, huh? Oh my gosh, look at that goat poop. It's so solid. We're so proud of you, shadow. This goat has been nonstop diarrhea ever since we rescued it's him. It's eating a leaf. And now <laughs> it's got solid poop here. Good job, little Shadow. We're so proud of you. All right, Shadow. Well, you may be doing a good job, but I still got to put your diaper on for the rest of the hike, okay? Ah! Oh, poor guy. You're okay. We just got a little bit more hiking to do. Okay? Okay. So I got this carrier here. It's a Moby from Target, and it works great. Here we go. I got my goat carrier. You're okay, I got you. I got you here. Getting soaked. Oh, poor guy, you're all wet. You're all wet. Oh, you thought. Smells like a wet goat. <laughs> there you go. Right there, okay? What do you think about that spot? That's a good spot for you, huh? Now you stay there, and I'm gonna go spear fishing, okay? Get us some fish. Uh oh, he's coming out. Hey, you need to go back in there. You can stay dry in there. What are you doing? This guy's so Salt sweet. He likes really to be hurt. with us. He don't want to be without his family, huh? He's hungry. <laughs> He's hungry. So we mostly give him milk, but uh, we've been giving him a little bit of avocado and some uh, banana, a few snacks every once in a while. Yeah. Huh? Is that good? Now I need to eat. I'm going to go get in the water and see if I can spear me some fish so I don't starve. And I don't have to eat you. Just kidding. I would never eat you. You're <laughs> such a cute little goat. You like, you, but I would eat you. No, you're a herbivore. You don't eat people. I would eat you in your sleep in your tent tonight. What? <laughs> they don't say that. Oh, don't do it. All right, everybody. So, Axe is soaking wet. Oh. There's no way we're going to get this fire started in this. There's no dry wood anywhere now. It's all soaking wet. I don't want this to be a miserable experience for you. So cold. <laughs> So, I think we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna come back out here and survive another time when the weather's a little better. <laughs> what do you think, little buddy? You don't wanna hang out here being wet and cold, do you? No, I know. I didn't think so. And when afternoon faded towards evening, they were still scrambling along the ridge. Hey, guy. Hey, here you go, Shadow. You gonna, nope, nope, eat my finger. <laughs> nope, 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 it's right there. Ow. 
There what you go. Are you, doing? you did so good on the drive here. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. All right, so we are back and it is the next day, a beautiful day, no cold, wet rain right now. Hopefully it doesn't rain, it might, but we came prepared, we brought our adventure agent's tarp and we're gonna cover some firewood. So if it does rain, we're ready to go. Same thing today, I haven't eaten but a little bit of fruit since breakfast and I am very hungry. So I'm gonna go try and spear some fish, let this little guy stretch his legs. What you eating, huh? Are you supposed to eat that? You like these leaves? I think he likes the kiawe leaves, yep. That's what all your family eats out here, the kiave. All right, you gonna be good, huh? You stay here? I'm gonna go catch some fish. So Axe here is gonna babysit little Shadow while I go spear some fish. Yeah, he'll be a good babysitter, huh? Yeah. Ooh, ouch. So that's why Axe is babysitting. He fell off of a one wheel while he was riding on the pavement and got pretty destroyed. So it's the main, salt water is gonna hurt one. those wounds pretty bad. Not not the back. That one's oh, pretty that healed, one but hurt. this yeah, one. Yeah, he scraped his elbow up pretty bad. It's it's already like stuck to the skin. Yeah. Ooh. Ouch. So it was actually right here that I found that little baby goat. He was hiding in this cave right here. I think I'm gonna put in right there. I would say a good spot. Of course, I didn't bring my spear. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, I guess we'll be fishing with fishing poles. Whoa, dude. That's cool. So that's two of those. I think they call them Ospreys. It's the helicopter slash, it could be a helicopter or an airplane. That's cool. Two just flew by. Oh, nice. You got firewood. Yeah, yeah it's starting to sprinkle you guys. So Axe, guess what I forgot? What? My spear. Really? Yes. I no. forgot my spear. Darn, darn. All right, we got the tarp and the firewood. I'm gonna try to make my own spear to spear fish. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Hey, what's up, little guy? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I got three different spears here. I got this small one, got this one that's dry wood, which uh, can be sharper and a harder point. And then this one that's just a split one with four, four points there. So let's get out to the water and see which one works best. That's our firewood. Don't eat our firewood. You hungry? Come on, come on, come on. Making them get some exercise. Come on, come on, you want some, you want some? Come on, move your legs. There you go. Run. There you go. Good job. Come on, run around. Run around. Come on, come on. There you go. Yeah. Move those legs. Move those legs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Woohoo. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> You're hungry. <laughs> I make him get exercise because if he was out here with his mama and all his, you know, cousins running around, they roam far and wide to get food. And these little babies, they got to be running with their mama too. But he just hangs around waiting for us to feed him. So I gotta make him get some exercise for his food there. Right, huh? You're eating my spear. How am I gonna spear the fish if you eat the whole spear? Huh? What are you doing? So here's my spears. I got three of them. Here we go. So what I'm about to attempt to do is actually extremely difficult. 
I do not have a sling. It's just the force of my arm and this stick that is going, and the speed of my arm that's going to have to spear one of these fish. And that's very difficult to do. And here's a trigger fish here, and I'm waiting for it to maybe be up against a rock or near a rock to where I can pin it against it. And that was not going to happen on that shot right there. Um, it's laughing at me. So are these fish. <laughs> so I'm getting close to the rock so I can find a fish that's just hanging out right next to a rock. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, here's a manini. Oh, it's so perfect. It's perfect. There's a rock right near it. Oh, and it's too fast. And boom. Oh, that would have been good right there, too. Oh, man. Striking out. Oh, there was one more, but my spear was just too blunt right there. It, it couldn't have really done a whole lot. I gotta sharpen it real quick. So there we go. Sharpening my spear. Had my dive knife there. Now I'm using the other spear and thinking maybe this one will be a little bit better. And there's a manini down there. And there's another one here. You can't see it. That was actually a pretty good opportunity, but I missed it. Sharpening that one again too. Those rocks, they really dull those wooden spears up really quickly. Here's one and it's gone. Bye bye. Uh, here's another trigger fish. Now this is a perfect opportunity right here and it's lost. That rock, that situation was perfect. That's exactly what I needed. But anyways, here we go. This manini, it's kind of close to the rocks and it's just swimming off. This one right here. I can't see it. There's some kind of distortion with the salt or something. I don't know what it is, but it, it's weird under here. It's interesting. And here we go. Here's another one. Oh, and I actually hit that one on the tail. Oh, man. I don't know why I keep poking at it. There's just no way. See, I hit it on the tail right there. And that would have been pretty, pretty good. And right there, too. I'm just too slow. Woo! I am freezing cold. Well, that was a lot of work. Go fish. Boy, that was fun and challenging. Oh my god. Whoa. I gotta get off of here. We're getting knocked over. Oh my gosh. I got so close. Oh, I hit a manini. Almost pinned it against a rock. Oh, I'm shivering all over. Can you make a fire? Uh, yeah. Okay. Right after you left, I caught a rock hit. Literally, three cat. my first three cats, I caught three rockfish. What? The last one swallowed the hook, and I can't get it out. Oh, no. no. Hey, little guy. Stop. We're starting a fire. What are you doing? You're like, can I be in the fire? Can I eat it? Is it scrumptious? Is fire delicious? Did you have fun while I was going? Huh? Did you? Oh, don't lick my face. Don't lick my face. You smell funny. Oh. We just love this guy. He's such a sweet boy. <sighs> I don't think you like that. <laughs> You're like, ah, help. That's what I do to Can you help Agent help Rainbow. <laughs> I, get, I go, ah, ah, and he's like, ah, you don't think that's funny, huh? No. He's like, nope, you're weird. Hungry, go. <laughs> you drank it all. It's all good. Bye, mosquitoes. What a beautiful sunset. Look at that. Just about to disappear right there. Yeah. Hey, I just took my bucket. How are you doing? You, you want to catch fish with us? That's called a fishing pole. Yeah. It's a fishing pole. You can't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to eat it. <laughs> So Axe is gonna take Shadow here back to the campfire because he's tired. Be careful, he'll you know. I'll just keep him with me. Make sure he doesn't get in the fire. All right. Hopefully a fish is gonna want to eat that.
Tex, it is I, your future self. Tex, that eel you just saw, it is food, Tex. Take it and eat it. I am my future self. Yeah, we're, we're all our future. This is future hummingbird here. All right, everyone, so it is in the future right now. We have jumped to the future, and I was just such a ninny kampoot. And I'm like looking at that eel like, oh, wow, look at that. That pretty eel swimming around, how nice. No, Tex, this is survival. That's food. Did you have a spear? I did. What? It was very, very, but I'm just like, oh, look at that eel. Oh, that's so cute. You could have killed it? I could have eaten it. We could have eaten that night, but we starved instead, which you'll find out here in a minute. So we're doing a little bit of an intermission here in the survival video. We are back and we have our spears. Axe has his spear, the spear that I made in the future. You'll see how I made it in a little bit. That's in the past. Our past, their future. They're about to watch it in the future. Anyways, we are back to the future here. Yeah, we're back to the future. We are back to the future here and we are gonna try to spear us an eel and eat it. Let's get to it. Axe, you go that way, I'll go this way. Oh, there's a little Mimpachi right there. Oh, there's another little Mimpachi. Oh, look at that fish! I'm excited. Yeah, me too. All right, so no eel right at first, but last time it came because I threw some fish guts out. So we got a little bit of bait here. The Adventure Agent's mesh bag here. I'm gonna put a little bit of shrimp in there and it's just gonna leach out. And the eels can smell that out in the water and they come up into the tide pools looking for that food. We're trying to run away. All right, so I got it looped around this rock here. All that delicious shrimp is just gonna leach out and hopefully we'll get an eel coming in here soon. Hey, then, before you do the master trials, guess what you can do? You can eat food that gives you boost ups, like attack up. Hey, the eel. There's an eel, there's an eel. Like clockwork, it's here. Right there, see it? Mm -hmm. See it right there? Got it, I got it. I got it right there, you see it? Mm -hmm. oh. Nice. Oh, oh my no. gosh, you got out. I got it, I got it. Shoot. No! Oh. Get the spear, River. Go, the spear. go grab the other spear. Get the other spear. Be very careful if it's a knife. Okay, it's hiding. It's hiding. Okay, the spear didn't work so well. We just need to stab it in right the head. There. Okay, okay, oh, give me, give me the spear. Give me the spear. Okay. Get it, get it, get it. I got it. No, I I got wait, it. you did? Yeah. I got oh, it. yeah. I got its head. Stay back, Rip. This thing is dangerous. It can bite you, okay? Stay back. It's right. Man, that thing is so tough. My spear just broke. Just gotta get it out of here. Oh my gosh, this is barely even penetrating. Look at that. The thing's still alive. My spear, my knife still hadn't penetrated. You see that? Okay, be careful, Axe. Don't stick your head. See, see the tail flopping around? Can see I feel it? Can I touch hold it? On, hold on, hold on. It looks like it's probably dead. Okay. Yep. Oh, it's still alive. What in the world? I don't know. Well, it's opening its mouth. Yeah! Woo! We got an eel! Can I feel it? Uh, I am not convinced that that thing's dead. Can I feel it? Yeah, sure. Oh my god! touch it? That. that is the... F Daddy, feel that. That's like jello. I'll record you. Okay. It's like jello. Oh my gosh. No wonder it could just slip right through. Yeah, I don't think it's dead. I don't think it's dead. It's still moving its mouth. We need to kill this thing proper. Oh yeah, it's still alive. Yeah, it's still alive. How it's... can it be still be alive? I got it right. Look at that. No, it's looking around. What? Oh it's my. It's opening its mouth. This is like the undead zombie it's, it's eel. It's breathing. <laughs> don't let it bite you. Okay. All right, I think it's dead now. So this is the first time we've ever taken an eel and Look at it, it's still breathing. That was unbelievable. Still breathing. How long? It's still breathing. You know, I think maybe we should cut its head off. That's what you do with zombies, right? You just cut their heads off. Like if all else fails, you, you, cut you, its head you have off. To, sometimes you have to blow them up though. I can't even pick this thing up. It's just like It's still slip. breathing. It's like it's a still breathing. It's like a slug. Oh, there's another eel. Look at that. Let's leave this one alone. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, it's a moray eel. These things are dangerous. Oh, Careful, on. hummingbird. Poisonous? Yeah, they can go just, oh, look, It's the all the way on land. Look at that. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful creature. Yep. Yeah. So I stabbed the other one in the head about like 40 more times. Look at it go. With that knife. Uh -huh. And guess what it was doing? What? It was opening its mouth and closing its mouth and breathing. Ah, there Throw you go. me in the fire. Nothing you can do can kill me. 
I'm invincible. Right, we're gonna lay this thing down here. There we go. Oh, oh, look at that. It's contracting like snakes do, you know? So it's dead. There you go. It's a big one. Nice. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, so we got a system down here. Axe, he's just running the blade across and I'm pulling at the same time. This will not come off like a snake. Like snakes, you can just pull and it comes off. This is not. I'm gonna eat a roach. Around. I'm gonna eat this. It tastes like popcorn, over. What? The roach. Can we eat the cricket? You wanna eat it? <laughs> You're begging me to eat a cricket? Sure. And three roly polies? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that size. Are kids normally this excited about eating roly polies and crickets? Oh, maybe we're just weird. It's sticking its head in its. No, it's eating it. Oh, so it's we... eating so much. So there's a vampire roach on the zombie eel. All right, now I just gotta clean them and bread them up. What a beautiful gecko. Thanks for coming, Bird. There you go. Okay, five. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's an ant on it. There's an ant in there. Well, that'll be extra protein there. <laughs> it just hopped in. Yeah, it just hopped in. It's drowning. Mm-hmm. Poor. Salt oh, in some there. tiny salt thing. Oh yeah. What y'all think? You think this is gonna be good? Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess that makes sense. Also, we put it in salt. So I found this earlier. This is gonna be great for grilling on. Somebody just bent a wire up. It's perfect. So we got coconut oil here. All right, we got a roach, folks. That is pretty gross. Yuck. Yeah. It's probably gonna be delicious though. <laughs> heat, heat, heat my oil. That is what? Oh my what gosh, the, wow. What the heck? All right, this oil is ready. Wait, I'm not, wait. Yep. This roast is still alive while it's being breaded. And we cut off its head. It's as dead as it can be. Red what? Ah. All right, that is done. Where'd you put my stick, Daddy? Ooh, careful, don't fall off. Now for the roach. Oh, you can see it's wing right there. Pick any old nugget. Here we go, folks. First time. Tastes like chicken. Tasting. Now hold on, careful. There's, there's bones in there. Did you just stick the whole thing in your mouth? Oh, you just broke some off. Okay, careful. There's bones. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like breaded chicken. It tastes like breaded chicken. Chicken nuggets. Hey now. That's some good stuff right there. Try just the eel. That's what I'm talking about. It's like chicken nugget. Oh man. And just the eel tastes mm. like that tastes like chicken. That is chicken. good. Tastes like chicken. It, does, it tastes like very, very tender chicken. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's like chicken that tastes like fish. It's I mean, amazing. This cassava flour that we use, by the way. I wish it had new bones. Those are sharp eggs. This is good. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. So fried roach, legs and all. Let's see. It's good. Mm. That'll do it. Axel. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know about good, but I think I'll survive. Oh. All right, you guys try your roach. Let's see it. You got this. There's nothing inside of it. There's nothing inside <laughs> of the roach. Really? Yeah. How's it taste? Roach shell. It tastes like cassava and egg. Mm. What in the world is that? What is in there? Roly polies. Roly polies? Ow! No, just oh roly polies. Oh my gosh, there's roly polies inside of it. It's like a roly poly cake. Mm. Hey! Oh, okay. That's mm. not that bad. All right, everyone. Well, that is the feast that I should have had had I had any sense in my head when I first saw that eel sliming around right there. So that's what I should have done. Now let's go back to the past. If, I don't know, whatever back it is. Back. Let's go back to the original survival video and see the meager meal that Axe and I actually ended up eating that night. Well, hey there, buddy. Looks like Dana just walked up. Well, look at that. 
We got a marbled stone crab. Looks like I won't starve after all. All right, so no luck fishing at all, but I found this dude in the tide pool. And, uh, whoa. Ah, whoa. And this guy too. <laughs> he almost got away. Or she, I don't know. Anyways, it looks like crab is the only thing on the menu tonight, folks. I'm hungry. You got these pinch so. Oh my gosh, yeah. If watch this. Pinch so this down. is called a marbled stone crab. No more. That's good. All right, so I just got the mess kit with the lid here. Delicious. Look at that pincher, you guys. Check that thing out. There you go. It's so good. Is it good? Mmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm so grateful for this, but it's hard not to be like, ah, I could be eating a, a full meal of manini right now. Man. So we need to figure out how we're going to get inside of this dude. <laughs> it's just a rock now. It's just yeah. a stone. And he's like, well, that's because you're cutting my intestines. Uh. Oh, there's some meat. That looks like a good piece Let's of peel meat. peel that back. Meat in there. Try it. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, that looks absolutely disgusting. God, what a thick shell. <laughs> that is a thick shell, man. Oh, look at that. Now, there's some meat right there. Not a whole lot, but that's something. Mm -hmm. In all seriousness, folks, I am very hungry right now. We didn't bring any food for you either. So he's kind of going hungry tonight, too. <laughs> oh, that looks so yummy. You can't even have one nibble? Me? Yeah. No. Not even one. Oh, I had some of your crab. Maybe just one tiny nibble. One little eensy weensy. Yeah. Alright, so just because I can do whatever I want, Mm. I'm gonna have one little nibble of a marshmallow and a cookie. Oh, mm. oh, it's so good. Oh, he's like, Daddy, but I want some s'mores. No, son, you cannot have s'mores. Okay. <laughs> we gotta find him home quick before it's too late. Before I gotta it's keep so, you. He's smiling. It's so cute. Oh, yeah. It's like, mm. oh, please give me s'mores. Please, marshmallows, yummy. Hey, little guy. You up, huh? What are you doing? Hey, you want to sleep with us tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to feed him a little more earlier, but uh, I forgot to, so I better give you some more food before we go to sleep, okay? I know. I know. I know you want it. So I'm sure this is a stereotype, but he reminds me so much of a little puppy. He's just like a little dog. It's hilarious. Okay, calm down, calm down. There you go, yeah. Oh boy, you were hungry, weren't ya? Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Good job. You ate all your dinner. Good job. He loves these, they're longins. Here. You have a little treat. You want it? It's right there. <coughs> okay, hey, I'll give it to you, okay? He's like, he's getting mad. He's like, stop, stop holding it from me. I want it. All right, now it's your bedtime, okay? It's bedtime. There Come you on. go. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Yeah. You can sleep in here with us tonight, okay? All right. The goat's like, oh, dear. No, please not the diaper. No! No, the humiliation. You're a baby, okay? It's not humiliating <laughs> to wear a diaper. Well, technically, he's a kid. He's a kid. Yeah, <laughs> he's a kid. All right, you got to keep this on, okay? Don't take your diaper off, all right? Don't take your diaper off like Agent Rainbow does all the time. It's like, oh, I will. <laughs> so after 24 hours, I get to eat again for real. And this is what I'm going to eat right and here, this beef some, bacon. Right? So at 9.30 a.m., I get to eat this. Can I have some? Uh, yeah, we're splitting it in half. And, some and I eggs. bring a potato. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Brussels sprouts. Oh, he's eating that. <laughs> he's eating our tent. Oh, gosh, we're going to wake up in the morning and there's not going to be a tent. <laughs> 
Because <laughs> he's going to have eaten it all. Don't eat my tent. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Go to sleep. He's like, I will eat this hat. He's looking for all any kind of food. I will eat this leg. <laughs> what the heck is he doing? He's standing know. on the switch. He's, what, are you, <laughs> what are you doing? He's trying to find something to eat. What are you doing? Huh? I'm trying to play Legend of Zelda. And you're bugging me. Go to sleep. Stop. Get back. <laughs> you won't leave me alone. He's over here like, what are you doing? What are you doing, huh? I'm playing a video game. Leave me alone. Go to bed. That's a video game. What are you doing? You can't eat it. He's like, I want a video game. <laughs> Can I eat it? Go back to bed. Rah. No. No. This, Stop. You can't play video games. You're just a goat. You can't play video games, okay? Not yet. Not till Elon Musk implants a chip into your brain, okay? Only then can you play video games. Go potty. You tell me no. Don't tell me no. I know you need to go potty. Go potty. Shadow, why are you eating Axel's hair? He's legit eating your hair, Axe. Shadow, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop eating the hair. It is not for the eating. It's not spaghetti. What he's is it doing? Why? He's eating your hair. I don't know. Why are you eating his hair? Why are you eating Axe's hair? Why? Do y'all see what I'm seeing? Okay. Right, what's going on here? Let's go see my hair. Somebody needs to do something about this. Can you stop it? Some, some very strange about this situation. I'm not very comfortable with this shadow. Nobody's gonna take you camping anymore if you keep eating people's hair, okay? It's not normal to eat people's hair, okay? People will think something's wrong with you, okay? And they won't invite you camping anymore, all right? Shadow. Shadow. You don't eat people's shirts. That's not socially acceptable either. Shadow, don't eat people's sleeping bags. That's not socially acceptable either. All right, so he finally stopped eating our hair and everything else in this tent, and he's laid down right here. So I think he's decided, I want to sleep in between you two. All right, good night, little guy. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Good morning. Is that you, Shadow? All right, I think Shadow's hungry. Hey, so am I. <laughs> good morning. Shadow's hungry. Hi. <laughs> what? Outside. Oh, this bacon sounds so good. Yeah, this is your cute guy. Did you sleep good, huh? You want some milk? You're hungry. Was it a good breakfast, huh? All right, so I got two spears here now. I got a damaged adventure agent's bushcraft knife here, and then I have this spear right here. So this spear will give me a better advantage because the prongs are more spread out. And this will give me an advantage because it's a lot sharper. As soon as I get in the water with this knife spear, I'm feeling so much more confident. There's a trigger fish there, but it swims away. And I'm looking under this rock and oh my goodness, there's some big fish under there. So I try to sneak around the other side. I go up for some air, come back down. And what do I find right in front of me but a goat fish, a giant. I take a stab at it. It's a long shot. It wasn't pinned between a rock. And it runs away, of course. I got really close, though. I was surprised how close I got. No fish in there. Nothing. Oh, there's something, but don't really know what that is, so I'm not going to stray. Let's see here. There's a manini. Oh, 
come on, just hang out. Uh, I'm so confident. I'm like, I'm gonna spear something with this knife thing. Like, oh, there we go, right there, right there. I should have taken that shot. That could have been something. That was close enough to the ground, but oh, look, a piece of ancient pottery. Probably not. It's just a plastic one at the bottom, I think. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty cool though. And here's another manini. And it's running away. Long shot. Oh, damn. I was way behind that one. Where'd Shadow go? Shadow! Where were you? He was right. We oh, thought you were lost. What were you doing? Yeah, His yeah. Space is soaked milk. I know. So we're making beef bacon. Ooh. Got the potatoes, coffee. Yummy. What do you want, good sir? What are you over here for? Taking a break from your nap? Hmm? I know what he wants. Avocado. Nope. No coffee. I know you want coffee. No coffee for you. <laughs> he went right over to my coffee. He's like, oh, I smell that. That sweet, sweet cream. So the hashes are brown here. So, oh, no. get off, get off. No. You're gonna get hurt. Oh my God. That's hot, it'll burn you. Stay back. Stay back. Hey, get back, nope. But I don't wanna stay back. No. Get back. Get back. <laughs> Ouch. Mm. <laughs> Bacon. The GoPro was at zero percent. Ah, uh, the Coco Palm family. Bacon, yay! Ooh. I'm holding the camera between my legs. <laughs> it's like shaking around. Yum. Yum, yum. I probably have about like, um, all right, breakfast is ready. Come on, come on, Shadow, breakfast. Shadow, come on, it's breakfast time. Come on, avocado? come on, it's breakfast time. Yeah, we got avocado for you. Breakfast is ready, finally! Hey, what are you doing? That's not good for you. That's not breakfast. Breakfast is over here. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. Shadow's having his breakfast here. Look at that. Is that a good one? You like that avocado? <laughs> You've been waiting on that all day. You got an avocado mustache. <laughs> Nope, stay. All right, folks, it's been 27 hours since I had anything but a couple little oranges and crab. some crab that I caught last night and a pinch of a cookie and a marshmallow. I am very much excited about Stop, this. Stop, look at this. You have bad table manner. You don't stand in the table. We're trying to eat here, okay? Your avocado's right here. Don't be trying to steal mine, okay? okay. There. I don't think he can really There's get it. Oh yeah, he can. So I'm just going to squish it out on the table. Is that better? He's like, no. It's not. <laughs> he wants something else. What else can I have? <laughs> Nothing else for you. No. No. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, eventually I'm going to eat this food. 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, it's amazing. Mmm. No, no, no. He heard me. He's like, it's amazing. I want something amazing. You can't have any. No bacon. Okay. Oh no 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 no. He just ate a big chunk of egg. You can't do that. It's not good for you. Ah! It is stepped in my food. I'm perfect. Don't do it, bad goat. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. There's no such thing as a bad goat. Where? Okay. Stop! What are you doing? Don't do that. How are you still hungry? Stay away. Stay away. Hey, you're being annoying. Just like you were last night. You were so annoying. I'm going to have to put you somewhere else, okay? I'm going to have to put you... No, no, no. Ah! Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is he doing? Mmm. Oh. Finger food. No! 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 He spilled all my coffee! No! Ah! No! Oh my god, I can't believe Now he you're that. a bad goat. <laughs> I can't believe he spilled all my coffee. Why did you do that? He's like, well, why not? Why? Just messed up. All right, that's it. You're going in timeout. You're going in timeout for spilling my coffee. That's the last straw. Okay. I gotta find a good spot for goat timeout. All right, this looks like a good spot. Okay, now, do you? Stay there and think about what you've done. Don't come out. <laughs> you gotta stay there. You can't come out. You gotta stay there. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't put a kid in timeout unless you tie up the run. You're supposed head. to be in timeout, huh? You were supposed to leave. Back for more food. No, no, no. That's why you got time out in the first place. You eat everybody's food, spill their coffee. No, we got time out because we spilled the coffee. I don't know if we're going to take this goat camping again. He's a naughty goat. All right, Shadow, I'm making more coffee, okay? But you don't spill this this time, okay? Or I'll put you in double timeout, all right? Just kidding, you don't need timeout. It's my fault for leaving my coffee where you could step on it, okay? You're just a baby goat. You're just a baby goat, yeah. I really like putting his head just like right into a, a closed space. Yeah. So cute. Shadow loves to cuddle. Yeah. He loves to put his head right there and just snuggle, snuggle cuddles. I apologize for all of the baby talk here. If you were here camping with this goat, you'd be doing a lot of baby talk too. I guarantee it. He's asleep. <laughs> Poor little guy. So yeah. Cool. Long day, you need a nap. I can't see it, you know. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. All right. Now get down. Come on down. Come on down. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. I'm so proud of you. We're going to teach you to be a real goat, huh? Yeah. Every time I'm out here walking around, I see all these little baby goats just running around on these trees. Hi. And he needs to learn to be a real baby goat. Yeah. Just like them. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Come on, Shadow. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Look at him. All right, well, I think this is about the limit for him. He's coming he's down. To down. Yeah, because well, he's coming to me. He's trying to jump on me. <laughs> you were trying to come to me, huh? Yeah, you're my buddy.
we should just stop and get some brisket and a snow cone. That should take like 20 hours. Mm -hmm. In a chill hour, they came to the end of the watercourse. All right, everyone. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. What about you? You have a good time, Shadow? Huh? He's like, just give me more food. Come on. This is bugging. He's licking my arm. Well, if you did enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see more fun baby goat camping videos. Who knows how long we have with this little guy. We're finding him a home right now. We can't be his permanent home, so this may be the last camping trip we do with him. I don't know, but it was so much fun. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. He's so precious and all that joking about time out and all that. It's just a joke. He is the cutest little thing, the sweetest little guy. All right, well, until next time, remember, life's an adventure. Love is a key. Love is a who. And love loves you. Love made you. Love caused you to exist. And love continues to uphold your existence. You are. And you're amazing. All right, we'll see you on the next adventure. Tex out. Tex out.